so I think some people have already tested out Amazon's uh, Crucible game, which is a kind of like a mixture between a MOBA and a shooter. Uh, recently, the developer uh, talked about the, you know, the develop upgrade update from the 2026, 20, which is a video talking about how they're going to be pushing out some further content, making some some fixes, some quality of life fixes. Nothing really all that, or nothing really all that major that they're committed to the game, etc. Uh, making the game easier for certain players who seem to struggle with understanding what to do in Crucible. And then, of course, on the 28th, they released another uh, on on the Crucible news on the community board. They released talking about pretty much the same thing, talking about their video, how they're going to be making some changes to the matchmaking system, making some changes to their ping system, making some changes to a Jonah's rectangle to make it more viable so that it works, so that it indicates where you can and cannot grapple. And then, of course, uh, it says we'll continue to push these builds out at a pace that allows us to make sure we're putting in quality changes that are only making making Crucible the uh, better experience, right? So there are going to be some quality of life changes, some you know, voice chat, text chat, maybe a mini map because people have been asking for those things. Although I don't think any of those things will save Crucible. If you've been following Crucible, you can see currently on Twitter, it's like next to nobody that is really paying attention to this game. They've got under 15,000 followers on Twitch. This is a game released by Amazon Studios. And of course, Amazon has access to wealth of funds it's a very very wealthy co- uh, company as well and obviously they have access to some of the co- best quality um workers in the business so it really i really don't understand why crucible would release the game in the context of what it is right now there are certain things that are lacking from the game which has of which they said that they're going to quickly implement maybe within the next couple of weeks for example which they said voice chat text chat um, a mini map and making some other changes to their matchmaking system, but currently uh, on t- on Twitch, they literally uh, have no followage. So if you actually were to look at uh, Crucible on Twitch, and ironically, Twitch is Amazon's streaming platform, and on their own streaming platform, Crucible can barely uh, Crucible. The Crucible can barely, at this time, get more than, at this time, 500 views. It's got 21,000 followers for coming from a AAA studio, coming from a company as big as Amazon that has access to tremendous amounts of resources that should have released this game in a much uh, better, better state. Um, I think the biggest thing that's missing from this game to actually make it more viable in the current Twitch uh, climate, right? So in most games uh, you'll see on Twitch that do really well are like uh, multiplayer games, but typically revolve around the individual player, right? So things like uh, Fortnite, Apex, um, Tarkov, uh, Modern Warfare, even see see if these counter strike these games typically do very well one probably because they're more high impact very action oriented two they revolve around the individual player right so i think lately and what what's really working within the gaming space is individual players especially streamers want to showcase their skill and that's of course is a little harder to do on games like um, on games like Crucible, because it typically revolves more around gameplay, less or not so much revolving around killing of players. Because in typical MOBAs, you know that the enemy player is working his way towards you with the minion wave. Not so much with Crucible. You can literally avoid a lot of team fights. Um, you can li- literally avoid a lot of team fights by just capping points or by um, just focusing on killing you know the the monsters for essence which is the same thing as experience right they just call it essence and of course that's because the game doesn't push you towards the player versus player uh, confrontation which is what's missing in crucible for it to be much much better much better experience for the individual player and so that it becomes actually more uh, more popular on twitch so that obviously the bigger streamers will pick up the game start to uh, play the game and of course it'll allow for crucible to then garner a larger following as you can see that there aren't a lot of people who are following this game either on twitter who are watching for updates or on 
Twitch who are who are actively watching the game. And of course, less eyes means less players. And of course, less players means less money, which means less development, right? So these are pr some really simple changes um, that really Crucible needs to do, and they need to do them right away before they completely lose their player base. One, there's no competitive scene because there's no ranking system. Uh, two, a lot of the classes are just not balanced. It plays, the game plays very similar to games like old school, like Paragon. Maybe m most of you are familiar with Paragon. I played a lot of Paragon. I miss Paragon. I wish it was here. And Crucible kind of scratched that itch that I missed out from, of course, Paragon disappearing from the space, from the gaming space. Um, and what I would say, but what was good about Paragon is that one, you could customize the way you played because it had a card system as well as, um, an, there were, you know, an item system. Games like League of Legends or even Dota have an item system, so you can customize how you want to play those particular those particular games. Not so in Crucible, the character uh, customization is very limited and then even such that some of the choices that you have in terms of uh, choosing which builds in essence that you want to play are very are not only just very limiting but then some options are just very under 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 performing while others are overperforming. so it leads players to literally playing very similar if not the same builds so since there's no variety in how to play um that's another drawback for many for many players. The other thing, of course, like I said before, is that uh, Crucible is not balanced. It's not balanced. The current meta primarily revolves around mobility because so many characters have mobility in the game, either through dashing or just base movement speed. And then certain other characters just don't have mobility at all. Like Dracol. I've spoken about Dracol in a previous video. Um, I think, and that's one of the drawbacks to playing him, um, is especially if he gets focused and you've already you used your dash, you typically end up finding yourself getting focused and gunned down rather quickly. And, and of course, other characters uh, like Rahi is another one who doesn't have as much mobility as like someone like a, a Tosca or a Bug um or like a Sazan who has who has mobility and invisibility these are some of the problems some people are like well this game would do better with voice chat and i really don't think voice chat is the end all be all to really draw in a lot of players in this day and age everybody i think has access um to discord if you really need um, the voice chat, if you're going in with a group, like almost everybody these days has a Discord. It's not like in the days where I was an early gamer where you had to pay for things like Ventrilo or for um, some of the other uh, voice services like TeamSpeak. That doesn't exist anymore because you have free access to Discord. So there really isn't a need for video games today, especially for team-based games or shooters, to have a voice chat because you can just use one of the free ones the other thing is that there is a pinging system within the game and often i find myself while playing uh because i am an experienced player but i get paired with players who are often very new and so i'll ping for players to take an objective i'll ping an enemy is here i'll ping the group up and literally nobody or very few players react to the pinging system and it's primary and i don't think having a voice chat will do anything for at least for those players that you find yourself getting paired with who just kind of like aimlessly walk about get themselves killed needlessly or even worse where you find yourself in a game uh with an afk player and that's another problem with crucible is that there is no anti there is no kick system within the game so players can go afk and sadly they are rewarded for it because crucible uh, has like a team based XP pool. So if I'm the one who's out there soloing and doing all the XP grinding and capping, everybody else who may be not doing those things are benefiting from what I am doing as the, as an individual player. And that's another thing, probably what many streamers don't like is that some people can put in no effort and some people can put in a lot of effort. And unfortunately we all are basically in the same boat. And that's something that I know, when I see an AFK player, I'm like, they really need to get rid of this because you can AFK and receive up to 50% of the reward for doing absolutely nothing. Uh, while the other player who actually put in work, you know, gets focused down, caps points, kills mobs, etc., and they're not 
receiving as great a reward than doing nothing. I mean, you can matches take like between like maybe 10 or 15 minutes and someone can just queue up, press enter and just sit there and, and watch TV and be rewarded for doing nothing or create some bot where it just automatically queues them up match after match. And they're sitting there at work or they're hanging out with their friends or they're sleeping overnight and they're just leveling up their character and getting all the free rewards for leveling up. And this should never have existed in the game to begin with. And I'm very shocked that Amazon with such a with such access to resources released this game in such a poor state. Uh, and I think these are some of the things that they need to work on immediately uh, within the next couple of weeks to draw in more players, primarily the competitive scene, the, the uh, and and the kick and balancing mobility. If, if they can get those things in right away, the game will do much better. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Take care. And of course, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe and of course, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or any comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section as I always reply. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.